This is day 74 of Pure Clever Updates. Every day until the whole world can type at the speed of thought. Today I'm going to show you the final design of the Master's Forge endoskeleton. We've made quite a few videos about the exoskeleton, but the endoskeleton is just as important. So the exoskeleton attaches on the back here. It attaches on the sides here, and then it also attaches via these wings after folding over uh, these sides on the bottom here. These ribs and mounting bosses allow for the brain board to be attached and these holes allow for light uh, LEDs on the back of the finger switchboard to shine through for an underglow effect. And then within this cavity down here where the bottom facing boltons attach, this sort of faceted geometry is designed so that this can be 3D printed without any need for support material. So by having PCBs which attach upwards into the exoskeleton as well as a PCB which attaches downwards into the endoskeleton, we can fit a lot more electronics and a lot more intelligence in a much smaller space. In addition to the metal version that we're currently building, we're also considering offering like a kit version that people will be able to print their own exoskeleton and endoskeleton at home and we would just send you the electronics. So if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments.